It was here that he was inspired by Siddha Rupa Goswami to manifest his mission all over the world. So I'm speaking here because it will be too loud there. And you can also have darshan through the window here. My Gurudev used to come here and spend so many hours discussing Harikata with Srila Prabhupada in this room. Srila Prabhupada used to sleep in the other room. But he used to cook in this room. So Srila Prabhupada, he used to roll the chapatis. And then give them to my Gurudev and my Gurudev will put the chapatis on the fire and cook them. Then together they used to offer them to Radha Damodar, Radha Damodar and take prasadam together. So once it was the disappearance day of Srila Prabhupada and Gurudev was saying, remembering how Srila Prabhupada used to roll the chapatis and he used to put them on the fire. So then Naimi Maharaj said, this pastime is still going on. Srila Bhaktivedanta Naimi Maharaj. Because when we met Srila Prabhupada, he said, we were like the road dough. And Srila Prabhupada made us in the right shape, then he gave us to you and then you cooked us. <laughs> And then offered us to Radha Damada. <laughs> so before ISKCON existed, my Guru Dev and Srila Prabhupada had many loving pastimes in this room. My Guru Dev asked him because everyone thought that in the West people only eat meat. So my Guru Dev asked him, when you go to the West, what do you eat? <laughs> Srila Prabhupada said, somehow I will survive. But I will make a hostel. And I will invite young people to stay with me. And I will cook for them. And if they will not be vegetarian, Srila Prabhupada, I said, I will cook meat for them. As long as they promise to chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Because I know that by the power of the holy name, after some time, they'll give up all the bad habits and become purified. So my Gurudev, he said he was so shocked at this such astonishing determination to spread the chanting of the holy names throughout the world at any cost. One day, Srila Prabhupada was in his room here and he took rest and in the middle of the night he could hear a voice saying, Abai Tarevelavin, Abai Tarevelavin. Srila Prabhupada thought, my name is Bhaktivedanta Swami. Abhay Chandravind is my Grihastha name. Who is calling me by my Grihastha name? So then, oh, listen carefully. Then, Srila Prabhupada, he woke up, he got out of his room and he walked through the temple room to see who was calling his name. And he came to the place of the Pushpa Samadhi of his guru, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, where we have been. But though his guru 
Yugoslav had left in 1938, and now it was in the 1960s. When he arrived there, he saw Prabhupada Bhaktisiddhanta so Thakur was there and calling, Abai Tanaravind, Abai Tanaravind, come here. Srila Prabhupada bowed down to his Gurudev. Gurudev never dies. Gurudev is everywhere, always with the disciple who is following him. And Prabhupada said, I gave you this name, Abhai Charnaravind. It means fearless at the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. So now, be fearless and alone by yourself. Go to America, go to the West and preach everywhere. Abai Chanaravin. Now is the time. Hmm? Others had gone before with a very limited success. But Prabhupada Bhaktisthan Swami said, now is the time. Hmm? Because 1968 was coming the summer of love. All the young intellectuals were disgusted with materialism and they were dropping out of society. So Srila Prabhupada went there and made the hippies happy. <laughs> By Krishna consciousness. So these divine pastimes of Srila Prabhupada have taken place here. And when Srila Prabhupada disappeared, actually he came here, he said, I eternally reside here. So don't think that Srila Prabhupada has disappeared. He's always staying here. Anytime you can come to him and bow down him and pray for his mercy. So I am here. I tried to glorify the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada outside where there was a room because everyone cannot fit in here. So devotees can come, give pran um, pranam to Srila Prabhupada and pray for his mercy. You can see, oh, where is the, is it still there? Always on the wall there, there's a picture of Prabhupada Sanyas Day. Yes. yes. And you can see on the right side the photograph of Srila Prabhupada on the day of his sannyas, where he received the Gopi Bhav Mantra from our Param Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Maharaj, and our Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Nantanayan Maharaj, made his sannyas Vesh and his Danda and performed the fire sacrifice. The photograph is just there on the right side. He stayed in Keshavji Gaudamat and he wrote his first book in English, Easy Journey to Other Planets there. And then after some months he came to live here and he was about eight years staying here doing bhajan. And he wrote uh, the first canto of uh, Srimad Bhagavatam commentary in three volumes here. And after staying some months there, he came here. And he wrote the first three. Yes, this is the first. I didn't say the first part because I didn't No, it was the last part. This part, the last part I said. And after, when he was here, he wrote first canto in three volumes. Ah, sorry about that. And after that, he wrote the first canto in three volumes. Srila Prabhupada ki jai! Three pieces. Ah, you see, three pieces you understand. So, we take Darshan of Srila Prabhupada and the famous photograph of him with our Param Gurudev Srila Bhakti Pradhyam Maharaj here. And then we will continue on the Alpha Karma. Here you can see the famous photograph of Srila Prabhupada with our Param Gurudev Srila Bhakti Pradhyam Maharaj. Сейчас слишком большая толпа, чтобы четыре раза обходить, поэтому нам придется сделать совершенно на Может быть, даже легче будет, чем четыре раза здесь.